Having this true curiosity on the Ranveer Show. When I was a kid, and I do believe that children have higher intuition than adults. Do you believe that? Yes, I do. Okay. When I was a kid, I remember looking at my parents hustling, working, and there was a part of me that always told myself that no, there's got to be some kind of meaning and purpose beyond working for a living. Not to say that they didn't have work-life balance; all that was there. I'm talking about something deeper. For better explanation, I used to think that. maybe human beings are superpowers but they need to be tapped that was my thinking as a child as i grew older and i read autobiography of a yogi and all these books i realized i was right as a kid we do not utilize our entire brains and nervous systems to their maximum capability by just living the life that we're told is a good life which is go out in the world make money etc why do yogis even practice that much yoga what are these tibetan monks up to in the himalayas what are these shaolin masters up to sitting in china there's some kind of higher process for a human being there's some kind of higher state that a human mind and body can achieve through practice and discipline yoga answered that question for me i'm sure there are different pathways etc uh but i've always wondered biologically what's happening in the human mind especially because there's this um old school saying that we only utilize 10% of our human brain and that's actually a very controversial statement there's a lot of people who don't agree with that people of science who don't agree with it there's people who do so i don't know if that's something you've ever kind of toyed with through your own studying that how much of our brain and nervous system in general is actually put to use and for lack of a better way of framing this can we sort of become superhuman in some ways that's the question to you i love the question i strongly believe that we are under utilizing our potential i won't give it a value of 10% 5% or 70% but i also believe in that word of neuroplasticity or neuroelasticity where we would only use as much as we tap and we can actually stretch that out tremendously today we are very very primitive as we read out some time back we are just moving from that tamasic to rajasic to satvik as the first step into trying to get beyond what we know but there's so much more and it can be done even the way we are today the fact that we can do our job and which we as spine surgeons do is detaching ourselves doing our duty which is our kriya but at the same time detaching and doing some sort of karma so that we can go beyond that duality we just read about the duality the duality has to be gone beyond the discernment or judgmental attitude has to go and you should be there detached yet involved and working like a stitta pragya something that is not connected for the the end result or the outcome so you're saying that karma yoga is also one of the pathways to evolve into a higher absolutely hmm. in today's world between karma yoga gyan yoga and bhakti yoga karma yoga is probably what the majority of the population in the world can practice yeah. and should practice hmm. um I'm not actually going to go deep into kundalini discussions with you. I also believe that audiences kind of have a fair idea what kundalini is. It's supposed to be basically a bag of energy which is coiled up in your lowest chakra and when you reach a state of samadhi which I think is sarvikalpa based on what we read I'm not too sure if it's nirvikalpa or sarvikalpa uh that energy is supposed to rise up within your spine. connect with your third eye and that is what causes a state of bliss this is according to yoga but my question to you is as a spinal surgeon if you actually cut through a spine you're cutting through the bone you're cutting through the disc what's in the center of the disc is it like nerve uh fibers which are like a wire what is it anatomically anatomically the disc is only a shock absorber the spinal cord is the nerve and it's the spinal cord which is vital 
स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इज जस्ट इट्स द ट्यूब इट्स अ बंच ऑफ इट्स द पैसेंजर इट्स अ बंच ऑफ नर्व एन कॉम्पास विद इन अ कवरिंग विच इज द कवरिंग ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड the outermost of which is called the dural sheath or the dura what about the innermost there is a pia mater and in between the two is an arachnoid these are anatomic things but the these are the three layers of the coverings while the innermost is nerve neural tissue right okay. far beyond any electric cable do you think the spine has something to do with self worth absolutely i do not uh, have anything which is incorrect in your assumption most neck and back pains and i'm using the word most are psychosomatic in nature where the psychological component or the functional component may be truly more than the true mechanical or structural component and every word of what you said is true whether it's your endorphin dopamine serotonin oxytocin whether it is the hormonal imbalance whether it's how you look at yourself in the mirror every day in your case you said how your mother looks at you she's the best mirror you can have okay we all need mirrors to realize our self worth and that's what actually gives us the reason to live the next day so when you were physically stooping you were not just physically stooping but you were physically and mentally, mentally. stooping and it's been the best thing i've done for both my physical looks as well as the way i feel about myself absolutely like uh, i've always been confident and brave it's just reached another level like it almost feels intoxicating to the point where i would never ever bend my back again you know it takes two or three weeks of slight discomfort not pain just slight discomfort to hold your shoulders back and to keep your core tight but once you get into that habit and people start noticing and you start seeing that now even your workouts are more effective because you're working out in the way that the weights are meant to be lifted you see better results in every aspect of life it's i it's one of my regrets from my 20s that i didn't do this earlier in life you know fixing my posture biggest thing i've done to myself uh and i think a straight spine is kind of sexy also Then it's great. <laughs> okay. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.